Hello everyone, hope you're well. My name is Francesca, I'm an Italian living in London and here we talk about investing, personal finance, um, financial independence, stock market and you know everything else related to that. So if you're interested then keep on watching. Today I wanted to um, touch on something that is more related to budgeting and hopefully it's going to be a very short video um, but um, the topic on hand is sinking funds as you might have seen from the you know title of this video. Now this is something that I, it's a very um, you know widely known um, budgeting and saving technique but something that I have just recently started doing um, but I think it has a lot of potential. I think it can be super helpful and uh, uh, I like especially the like psychological aspect of it and uh, you know I don't know how many of you guys know about singing funds um, it potentially a lot of you uh, but you know if you don't then uh, hopefully I'll introduce you to something that you can use down the line for yourself as well yeah so without further ado what are sinking funds um, in essence it's very simple Sinking funds are, you know, different pots of savings that you are creating for different purposes. So you can either, uh, this can either be, you know, costs that you know will come up eventually. Um, and so you prepare for them in advance. Or these are things that you think might come up. Uh, and, uh, you know, you, uh, you're not sure, but, you know, there is a possibility that you will have to pay for these costs, but uh, so you want to prepare for them in advance. So, for example, um, an example of something that will come up eventually is, you know, house renovations or uh, maybe if you have a car, like costs, um, you know, associated with that. Or even like if you have a pet, you know, like a visit to a veterinary, uh, like it's it's pretty realistic that it will happen uh, sooner rather than later. So you can create pots of money for for those purposes. Or for example, um, on the other hand, it could be uh, a visit to the dentist, right? So it's something that hopefully you won't have to do or, you know, kind of like emergencies related to your health or any other type of emergency, so something breaking down in the house. Um, so things that, you know, hopefully you will need the money for, but, you know, realistically one day you will. Um, so you can already kind of start preparing for them and putting the money aside. There are different ways of, um, you know, kind of saving uh, for sinking funds and like funding these sinking funds. You can either um, save them all in one go. So for example, if, um, you know, in, in um, in December, and there's like a lot of Christmas presents, right? That you will have to, um, to to pay, to fund, to buy. Um, so for example, you can decide that you know maybe a month before, so in November, uh, you create a sinking fund for uh, December, and so save more robustly in that month. Or you can actually break that down. Um, into payment like smaller payments that you uh, start making very much in advance so you could you know for example for Christmas that works out quite well since it happens in December you could start your budgeting and your forecast way earlier in in January of the year and already kind of like budget I don't know like let's say 200 300 pounds and break that down in you know monthly chunks that you will be pay, putting aside towards the the, the presents and so that by the time Christmas rolls around you already have the money you don't have to scramble and kind of uh, create them out of nowhere um, so yeah so basically this is it in, in essence so why would you use sinking funds I think it's pretty straightforward it's a great way of being more mindful with the way you are allocating your money and of course because if you have just one saving account it can be easy to mindfully you know taking a bit of money there for you know i don't know a trip or uh, a bit of money from it as well for a present or something like that so because it, of course you know uh, you will see this pile of money right and it, it won't uh, hurt that much right you won't feel it that much you know taking that money away um whereas um if you uh, allocate you know, strategically, if you create different funds uh, for different uh, things, you will be less inclined to take money away from it for something that is not a specific purpose for which you created the, the fund, if that makes sense. So I use Revolut, for example, they have this functionality it's called vaults, so you can create different vaults. 
um, in which you can save money and you can even personalize them, you can call them whatever you want, you can put pictures even, and I think that that's a great way to actually visualize what you're saving for and uh, you know will incentivize you like you know even more to keep the money in that just for that uh, reason and not take the money out for something else that is not the reason why you're saving in the first place um so for me for example uh which one the, the single funds i have right now are more are related to um a house that i bought um in case i didn't tell you yes i did buy a house it's an investment um you know, piece of property as in I plan on renting it out um, but with that there are a lot of costs that are associated with it just with taking out a mortgage there are a bunch of you know fees and other types of costs that you have to pay so I am already saving in advance for those I know exactly what well, pretty much I know what type of uh, sum we're talking about so I have something to work with and I use a technique of you know having that initial sum breaking it down and you know paying it in smaller chunks uh, but others are the ones that i think are great ideas and um i want to start making are uh, for example travel sinking funds so that i could use for example when i want to go back to italy or you know for weekend getaways when it will be possible again uh, it would be great to uh, you know slowly build that up so that when you know we'll be able to travel i'll have a pot of money to use for that uh, I, we talked about Christmas gifts, so I think that's great because it's something that you know will come around eventually or like for people in your life that you know, you know, when they have the birthdays and you know that you will be gifting them something, why not, you know, prepare in advance so that you feel it less when the time comes. So your parents, your best friends, uh, your partner, who, whoever. And um, another thing you found that I think hopefully we'll be able to use more is uh, fun times right so entertainment dinner out concerts musicals what have you so something for those fun times which will um you know soften the blow when uh, you do go out and uh, uh, because sometimes i think that the guilt associated with spending money on fun um can take away from the fun itself if that makes sense so if you can remove that guilt by you know preparing for these costs then why not do it i think it's great for uh for your finances for your conscience and for the time that you're going to be having so yeah this was it it's a very short video i hope you found it helpful and um yeah if you're more interested in learning about um my house you know why i did that how i bought the house then uh, i'll be happy to make a video there and i'll see you in the next one